EA is bringing back their college football game. It's been a long time coming. Hey guys, Sam's Report here, back to you with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the news that dropped a few days ago where EA is bringing back their college football game. This is big news and I want to take a few days, gather my thoughts, and make the best video that I possibly can. And I'm going to talk about why this is big. Not only is their college football series coming back, but this also gives us another football game, period. Ever since NCAA 14, which is considered one of the best football games of all time, and the lawsuit that happened with college players wanting to be compensated with EA using their likeness and the series going away, we've only had the Madden series, and that's been on a downward spiral for the past few years. EA has really messed up with the Madden series. Now they get a shot at redemption. It does give me a few concerns, but I'll talk about my concerns later. I am really excited for this. Now, I've never played an NCAA game. Never have. I'm going to be honest, but you know what? I am excited to see what is going to happen with this game. If it turns out to be on par with NCAA 14, then that's the best thing because we have been wanting another college football game. Now we're going to get it, and EA better do this right, because if they don't, they are going to be in a lot more trouble than they have before. Now, keep this in mind. This is going to be more about the teams than it is the players at first, because the NCAA is still fighting on amateurism, and the players not making any profit off of their names while they're in college. They are still fighting about this, even though... It's going to be a losing battle in the end. I think we all know that. They're still fighting on that. I don't know why. They still are. Anyway, that could change in the future with how things are going right now. But in the meantime, it's going to be more focused on college teams than it is the actual college players. Which is fine. The fact is, you still get to play as some of your favorite college teams. Like for me, I'm a Maryland guy. Always have been. And now, the fact is, when this game comes out and I get to play as Maryland, that's just really, really something to look out for. And it's going to have a lot of college teams in there. It's not just like Power 5 schools. It's a bunch of teams, and that is really exciting. I mean, you could play as lower-level schools. You could play as Tulane. You could play as Appalachian State. That's really exciting. It's not just about the top of the top. It's also about those schools that are not as big as those other ones. That's exciting. It really is. Now this also gives Madden some competition. Even though they're both being made by the same publisher, it still gives Madden competition. Look, I've said it. Madden has been on a downward spiral as of late, and it's because they're the only football game out there. So no matter what they do, EA knows they're going to buy the game. Well, if EA screws up both NCAA and Madden, I said it, they're going to get in a whole lot more trouble than they have been in the past, and they've gotten into a lot of trouble the past few years. Seriously, just look up EA, and you'll see everything that they have done over the last decade that has basically sank their reputation. Now, NCAA is a way to start growing their reputation back. It's not fully going to get the reputation back to what it was before, but it could get them back in on good par with some gamers. It could. So they have to make sure that they are making the best possible game that they can. Because if they don't, it's not going to be pretty. It really won't be. Now, that's going to lead me to my concerns, which is the fact that EA is making this game. All right, there's no sugarcoating it. EA is a part of this, so everybody's going to go, uh, uh, are they going to do this right? And if you're not a gamer, then you don't understand just the kind of reputation EA has right now. It really is not good, and for them, they've got to get this right because this is a game that people have been waiting for for a long time, and if EA can get this right, then it's not going to completely repair their reputation. It's not going to. No one thing is going to completely repair it, but it could start helping them repair their reputation. Now, this is a game where I'm going to keep an eye on see the updates on it, not only because, you know, I'm a big football fan, but also because I'm a big gamer. I mean, I have a gaming podcast, so this really hits both worlds for me, and I'm excited to see 
where this game goes, and that's all I have to say on it. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And also, for you gamers out there, go check out my gaming podcast in the description box below, and I'll see you guys next time.